Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some unsettled conditions across the region this morning. Continue to see a wind advisory in effect. Seeing wind gusts uh, near 40 miles an hour this morning, and we are continuing to see rainfall across the area. We'll see a slight chance of a thunderstorm later this afternoon with a uh, very slight chance of a stronger thunderstorm moving through the region. We also continue to see coastal flooding across the area today. High tide today will be after uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon at Wallops Island, so we'll continue to see those tides running about two or three feet above normal, so we'll see uh, that coastal flood warning continue for the remainder of the day today uh, as issued by the National Weather Service. So looking at our sounding from this morning, freezing level at 13,300 feet. You see our winds strong out of low levels out of the east at around 30 to 40 knots, uh, continuing above uh, 6,000 feet, seeing our winds become more southwesterly to southerly then seeing a peak wind to move up in the column, 50 knots out of the southwest, 25,000 feet. Current surface analysis, we have an area low pressure of the Ohio and Tennessee Valley, a uh, occluded front extending east from that. We have another weak area low pressure that's going to be developing just west of our area today that's going to enhance our wind field this afternoon. That should give us our strongest wind gust, as well as that slight chance of a thunderstorm and the chances of uh, moderate to heavy rainfall across the region. We'll see a sharp cutoff of those uh, stronger winds as this occluded front moves north of the region later this afternoon in the evening hours. Should be about four to five o'clock when we see those winds dramatically decrease and become more uh, southeasterly to southerly. So, taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see we do have a good amount of cloud cover across the region. This is the uh, infrared satellite imagery, and uh, continue to see that low-level cloud cover. Currently, seeing ceilings around uh, and below a thousand feet. Also some reduced visibility as well, so uh, a fairly unsettled day across the region today. Take a look at the HERM model. This is at uh, noon today. Uh, you can see the heavier rainfall just off to our south, possibility of an embedded thunderstorm um, with uh, that moving through between about 2 and 4 o'clock this afternoon. Um, Storm Prediction Center has issued a, a marginal risk for severe weather for across the region today uh, due to that stronger shear in the low levels. Can't rule out an isolated tornado across the region, but only a very slight chance of that occurring, and most likely that would be closer to the surface low. Well, it looks like that weak surface low will develop and move along the western shore of the Chesapeake Bay, so that would be the highest uh, chance in that region. Uh, can't rule it out across the Delmarva Peninsula today, but as I mentioned, only a very slight chance of that occurring. Moving into the evening hours, you can see the uh, heavier rainfall possibly linger until about 5 o'clock this evening and then should continue to move off to the north and we should see some drying conditions overnight. We'll have another weekend pulse uh, moving off the coast tomorrow morning. That could give us a sprinkle or two right now. Might also continue to trend a little bit farther east with that, so um, most likely won't occur. Moving into tomorrow evening, going to see another uh, impulse of upper level energy give us a possibility of a shower or two across the region. Looking at the European model for the next few days, you can see here that area low pressure moving through the area today and the upper level low tomorrow into Sunday. Looks like a good night for trick or treating on Sunday uh, evening with uh, fair conditions across the region. And moving into Monday, high pressure continues to build in. We'll have a colder air mass built in for Tuesday and throughout the remainder of next week. A weak cold front moved through on Tuesday, and that could uh, give us a sprinkle or a light rain shower across the region on Tuesday. But it looks like Wednesday and Thursday is our next system moving through the region. And the European model here has some colder weather across the region, so it looks like uh, temperatures could be in the 50s to even 40s when it's raining. Uh, European model here, this run, had some snowfall in the Appalachian Mountains, so uh, more like late fall instead of uh, early fall across the region or mid-fall and uh, giving us some uh, cooler weather with uh, some more kind of dreary conditions for possibly the middle of next week. So looking at a risk chart for today, we'll see those gusty winds uh, out east, east, southeast at 20 to 30 knots, gusting to 40 knots, temperature around 67 to 68 degrees for a high today, and that will be late afternoon, early evening hours. As I mentioned, we'll see a sharp cutoff of those winds around 4 to 5 o'clock this, this afternoon in the evening hours, and that's uh, most likely when we will see our wind advisory uh, be able to be canceled. Moving to the overnight hours, we'll see uh, winds becoming southwesterly around 7 to 12 knots. Slightly gusty early in the overnight hours, but uh, overall calming well down from what we'll see today. We'll see a low tonight of 50 
uh, 7 to 56 degrees across the region. We'll see those ceilings and visibility reduced today with the rainfall in the area. We'll see a 20% chance of a thunderstorm um, from 1400 local to 1800 local this evening. Looking at our 24 hour terminal forecast, going to see low ceilings in here throughout the remainder of the day today. Then once we move into evening hours, should see those ceilings uh, rise fairly quickly after that uh, front moves north of the region after 1800 local. And then overnight, we'll have that slight chance of rain shower after Saturday at 4 local and uh, seeing more mostly cloudy conditions by tomorrow morning. Our tides are running 2 to 3 feet above normal today. And looking at our weekend, Saturday, partly mostly cloudy, slight chance of a rain shower, high of 67 degrees. Saturday night, mostly cloudy with a slight chance of a rain shower in the evening, then partly cloudy and mostly clear overnight, a low of 55. And for Sunday, partly to mostly cloudy and slightly breezy, a high of 68 degrees. So the next seven days, rainfall today, slight chance on uh, Saturday. Looking at the rainfall for the remainder of the seven days, 20% on Sunday, 30% on Wednesday afternoon, evening, and then a better chance on Thursday, looks like at 40%. Our temperature regime will be uh, fairly typical uh, for this time of year, slightly above normal uh, during the beginning of the period here through the weekend, then becoming more uh, normal in the mid 60s to lower 60s for Monday and Tuesday and then Wednesday and Thursday looks like will be below normal uh, so upper 50s to mid 50s for highs so uh, quite a chilly and um, more November-esque uh, weather pattern for middle of next week we'll see temperatures for overnight lows in the uh, mid 50s to lower 50s to early to the period and then seeing uh, more in the 40s with uh, 43 degrees possible by uh, the Thursday morning of the next week well, that completes our 10 a.m. weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today, uh, enjoying the drying conditions we'll have this weekend. And we're back on Monday morning at 8.15 and 10 a.m.